French defense, Schlechter variation. Giveaway one player was winning, but then gave it away. That game was pretty competitive. White played a bit better than black in the opening. White was a cut above black in the middle game. Sharp games are frequently the result of starting with the king's pawn since it dominates the center and frees up the bishop and queen on the light squares. While preparing for d5, the French defense prevents the light squared bishop in favor of a strong center and opportunities for counterattacks. The center is fully controlled by d4 and the dark squared bishop is made available. The e4 pawn is threatened by the center counterattack on d5. Bd3 protects the e4 pawn and advances the bishop toward the center. This hits in the middle and prevents the opponent from gaining ground. This keeps the material balance in check with good commerce. Recaptures. Thus, the attacked pawn is protected. It is the final book action. This misses a chance to stomp on a bishop. It is incorrect. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling kingside tends to be safer because the king is further from the center. This threatens to win a pawn. It is good. The opposing bishop gets kicked by a pawn, and must now move or be captured. It is ideal. The bishop is now in a secure position. It is ideal. By growing a bishop from its initial square, this activates it. That's good. This requires an open file, a typical technique for rook activation. It is quite good. The pawn is now suitably protected. It is ideal. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. This exchange is fair. That's good. Backs off. It is ideal. Castling develops a rook while moving the king to a safer position beyond the board center. Castling to the same side of the board as your adversary helps you escape some of the attacking that comes with castling to the other side. It is ideal. That's a decent move. That's good. By doing this, a bishop moves out of its beginning square and into the action. That's good. This suggests exchanging items of equivalent value. That's good. By moving a rook from its starting square, this activates it. That's good. This develops a knight from its starting square, activating it. That's good. A wise decision. It is quite good. The knight can now control more squares as a result. It is ideal. This exposes a pawn attack. This poses a risk of winning a pawn. It is ideal. It is a fair deal after all captures. It is ideal. Recaptures. It is ideal. Thus, the attacked pawn is protected. That is good. This misses an opportunity to create a passed pawn. This permits the opponent to kick a knight. It is an inaccuracy. This is a missed chance to kick a knight. It is incorrect. This puts the opposing rook in a position to lose control of the open file. It is quite good. This keeps the material balance in check with good commerce. It is ideal. Backs off. It is ideal. By growing a bishop from its initial square, this activates it. That's good. Very precise. It is best. It's alright. That's good. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. The knight becomes more active as a result, gaining control over more of the board. It is ideal. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. The knight is thus brought to safety. It is ideal. This defends the pawn that was attacked. It is ideal. Now that the rook is on an open file, it is easier to control squares all over the board. That's good. There was just one smart move to be made. This misses a chance to pose a pawn winning threat. It is incorrect. This allows the opponent to win a tempo by threatening a rook. It is a miss. This wastes a chance to threaten a rook and gain the tempo. It is incorrect. There was only one move that was effective, and this wasn't it. 
this disregards a superior strategy for defending a piece that was being attacked. It is incorrect. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. Recaptures. It is ideal. This threatens to attack a trapped rook. It is a mistake. The pawn is now adequately defended. This stops the opponent from being able to attack a trapped rook. It is best. This misses a chance to threaten a rook and gain tempo. It is incorrect. This enables the adversary to make a pawn attack known. It falls flat. This threatens to attack a trapped rook. There was only one good move in that position. This ignores a better way to reveal an attack on a pawn. It is a miss. This protects an underdefended pawn that is under attack. This is the only move that works. This prevents the opponent from being able to attack a trapped rook. It is a great move. This overlooks an opportunity to win a tempo by threatening a rook. It is a mistake. Giveaway one player was winning, but then gave it away. That game was pretty competitive. White played a bit better than black in the opening. White was a cut above black in the middle game.